Welcome to the Oxen Group Nightly. My name is David Vistow. I'm the CEO, President, and Founder of the Oxen Group. The Oxen Group is a financial analysis and investment ideas firm uh, located at www.theoxengroup.com. You can check us out today for all of your financial analysis needs, investment ideas, stock picks, option picks, and much more. Um, and tonight's Oxen Group Nightly will be recapping the day in the market for July 20th. Uh, we'll be starting out with our Wednesday market wrap up, as well as looking at some of our new positions that we've entered and exited today. Um, we'll be updating you on our uh, Georgia's Corner portfolio, as well as our uh, Extended Value portfolio, which is our long-term portfolio, and also we'll be updating you for the very first time on our newest portfolio um, or report called Dollars and Cents. Um, and then we'll also be forecasting tomorrow, and as always, please check out our disclaimer at the end of the video. Okay, so uh, we ended the day in the red today on a pretty much flat day. Um, I thought we'd have a pretty nice rally, at least um, into the open, and maybe we would sell off uh, towards the close. Um, uh, the latter did happen, but the prior did not. Um, we did not get really any follow-through on a really big day yesterday. We had pretty good earnings um, in after hours and in pre-market today. Um, but the debt ceiling relief did not really carry over to the market. I was surprised to see that. Um, we didn't really go bullish into the day because uh, it was just pretty cautious. We were pretty much cashy going into the day. but. Uh, um, earnings were strong from Apple, and they did help the Nasdaq rally pretty well um, for the most part. Um, and then uh, the financials were pretty strong today as well. as a rumor on the buyout of E-Trade and uh, some um, talks there from uh, one of their main uh, stockholders that you know they want to push out some of the uh, board members there to get something going there. Um, that helped financial um, as well as some good earnings from U.S. Bancorp and a couple of their regionals. Um, but... I think housing really did dash a lot of the hopes for the rally today. We had a really good um, number come out um, from pending home sales and, um, sorry, new home sales and um, uh, permits um, earlier this week. But uh, then existing home sales came out in at a uh, 4.7 uh, million, 4.77 million a million uh, mark, and that was well below estimates that were for an increase over May from 4.93. You see the drop there. Uh, versus last month, almost a 1% drop and almost a 9% drop versus last year. Much under expectations, and uh, that was, uh, I think, a little bit hurtful to the overall market today. Uh, pretty much had a pretty much flat day, some some spikes here and there, but those spikes looked big, but they really were only about 20-point moves. Did get a late rally uh, as high as about uh, 25 points up on the market at one point. Um, that really flamed out into the dead talks this evening. Um, looks like the market's taking the stance that those dead talks will not get any deal passed still. And uh, I think you saw some people taking some quick profits off the table uh, and probably some people putting on some shorts towards the end of the day as we saw a lot of selling going on towards the end of the day um, going into tomorrow. Um, to complement that, we uh, earlier this morning we picked up a SDS position. Uh, we picked up a 2022 um, bull, uh, uh, bull call spread on that uh, for the August expiration. Um, SDS is the underlying, um, and uh, we got in at 0.57 on the spread there between the 20 and the 22. Basically, what we did is we bought the 20, we sold the 22, um, and we think that the 20 uh, is in the money and should stay in the money. Um, and we'd like this stock this to go back up to about 21 here in the near term. Uh, that will make the 20 very valuable. The 22 we sold, um, and that spread should continue to widen as it moves uh, to the upside. Um, it's got a good downside hedge there, though, um, for, the, for the position. Um, if it does get some pressure tomorrow or into next week, um, the hedge is nice and it allows us to you know, exit this for a, less, a lot less than going naked into the position. Uh, we also try to get a little bit of a long position here to hedge some of our shorts that we have on in the market right now. Um, I, I did come out with a report today about some five companies that I like that I think could move into earnings on Tuesday next week. Um, those included... Um, one of them was Norfolk Southern, and you look at the chart, stock's been bouncing off of its 50-day, now it's 20-day, had a real nice hammer and candles, hammer uh, candlestick today. Um, moving into earnings next week, they're expecting a 1.24, well, excuse me, 1.28 earnings per share, increase over 1.04 from last year, 13% revenue increase. Um, the transports have been great off the, for the market, and or excuse me, transports have been great this year. Uh, more growth is on the way. This has a stock has a future price earning ratio of 13. Um, very undervalued stock, um, and it has a lot of room to grow. I think it could go to 78 by earnings and post earnings. Um, and so we look for that stock to continue to increase, um, even if the market should pull back. Um, we had a, another a uh, lot of 
busy day kind of with our current positions. Um, we did exit our Bank of America. We had a short on them after yesterday. Uh, I thought we'd see a follow through to the downside, but then the E-Trade and the financials kind of rallied today. Um, and then you saw some short covering happen and sort of got short squeeze on that today. Um, and we were we had to exit that for a neutral um, after that rally. Um, we have a monthly play on Dow. We are a long Dow stock. And then we also have a sold the uh, August 34 puts. Um, got got a nice little pop, got a nice gain over the last couple of days on Dow. Um, that's gotten us close back to neutral on the, the stock. And the, the options are a little bit uh, under underweight right now, sorry, in the red right now. But... Um, they uh, they're they're moving back down to the downside today, and uh, those should hold up as long as Dow can hold 34 uh, by expiration. Their earnings um, will be before um, the expiration date does happen, um, but I am very fairly confident about their earnings. Um, and then we also um, are doing very well on our GLD uh, options play. We sold the uh, 158 weekly calls um, uh, yesterday um, uh, earlier in the morning before the uh, bond announcement came out. Uh, those are very well and uh, doing very well for us. We sold them at 40 cents, and I think they were trading between 10 and 15 cents for most of the day. Um, and then, uh, along with the NSC, it's some other long plays that I do like. I think that could make moves into and out of earnings next week are Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, DreamWorks Animation, um, Las Vegas Sands, and Panera. Um, Giorgio's Corner. Um, Giorgio Ferrero, uh, the main trader there, he uh, exited a General Mills equity trade that he put on yesterday for a little over 1% gain. It was a quick scalp, um, like the way that they were moving um, and post earnings. Um, and he's got, uh, so I should say, three open positions on his on his uh, credit spreads. He's got uh, U.S. Steel Sill, Medco Health Solutions, and Exxon Mobil. Those are all doing fairly decently. Um, both all of them probability is getting pretty high right now that all those will be able to um, expire worthless, um, and I think he's very close to exiting Exxon Mobil to his target there. Um, and then finally, we have a new report out. It's called Dollar and Cents. Um, it's headed up by a new uh, person on the auction group, a researcher. His name is Mike Mackin, um, and he's going to be doing uh, market history research, um, be looking at you know different uh, trends in the market, different earnings, um, how companies play off earnings, how companies play off different economic reports, and just each you know um, a few times a week he's going to be putting out reports like that. Like today, he put out a new report. Um, basically looking at what does the Dow do has what has the Dow done this year after two weeks of gains and he found that after two weeks of gains typically if we have back to back weeks of gains the third week we also have another week of pretty strong gains again on the market um, historically throughout the year and he picked some he found some of the Dow components that will perform the best um, and those include I think Caterpillar and GE and Exxon Mobil um, and that report is available on our website right now for our premium members and you can sign up for a trial. For tomorrow, we'll, uh, we uh, are a little bit bearish going in tomorrow. Um, we dropped into the close today, um, and we I think we did see some refreshed European fears and debt fears. Um, I think the risk on trade may actually be back on surprisingly after yesterday. We really should have rallied today, and we did not. We had good earnings. We had um, some relief, you know, come in um, with Obama saying, you know, we're getting progress on this debt deal. We're going to get it done. Um, you know, we got a big meeting tonight between the. Uh, the heads of the Republican Party and Obama, and some speculation that something may come out of that. Um, you know, we had good earnings from Apple. We had good earnings from the financials. We had some decent earnings in some other sectors, um, and we've had good earnings from a lot of companies. And we didn't really get any real bullish rally ever going. Um, the dollar dropped significantly again today, um, and the fact that we couldn't get anything going is, I think, a very a very good sign that we may be looking at a pullback for the rest of the week. Um, jobless claims tomorrow, Philadelphia Fed, leading indicators, all can influence the market. And we got a lot of earnings again. Tonight we had uh, AXP, Qualcomm. I saw those were both a little bit weaker than expected. Um, eBay was good in after hours. And then tomorrow morning we got Caterpillar, General Electric, McDonald's, Verizon. So a lot of big names that can really move the market. That's going to do it for today. Visit us at www.theoxygroup.com. Email us, call us, become a part of our 70% plus accuracy in picking stocks.